Behind the scenes, I truly went ahead and made that more beautiful by setting up a text center class and putting the name in a paragraph and also setting this in between center tags. So it looks like this. So what we're going to be doing now is actually setting up a separate database table to store the user's profile information. For example, the job that the user does or the location of that user and all that. So we're actually going to be saving this information in a separate table because we don't want to chunk up our user's table, with, which already looks gigantic. So we're just going to have a separate profile table for our user so we keep everything neat so first of all we need a model for that so php addison make model and we'll call that model profile and with that we need a migration that's created if we head over to our create profiles table migration we have this setup already the first thing we're going to be including for our user obviously is for our user it's a string and this is going to be the location of that user. We'll would also like to set up a text field. And this is going to be called about. And uh, what I would like to do is actually make all of these fields nullable. So that in case the user doesn't want to input these fields, we're not going to have any errors. Okay, so you can go ahead and include as many fields as you like for a particular user. I'm just going to leave it at that so we don't have a lot of data to manipulate. So I'll head over to my profile.php. And here I'm first of all going to make those fields fillable. So my fillable property, I'm going to have the location and the about fields fillable. So the next thing I want to do actually is set up a relationship between the user's table and the profile's table. So we know a user can have only one profile and we know a profile can belong to only one particular user. So we'll go ahead and set up a relationship and this is going to be a one-to-one -one relationship. So we have a public function and this function we call user or whatever you like and this is going to return the relationship. So this profile belongs to one user so belongs to app user model and in our user.php we're gonna define the reverse relation so this is gonna be public function and we'll call it profile and this is also gonna return a relationship but it's gonna be this user has one app profile so a user has one profile and a profile belongs to one user.